Hello, our dear football lovers. Today's episode is all about power, about human strength to live on, about the power that Georgina Rodriguez and Cristiano Ronaldo possess, and about the power of their love. Georgina touched everyone's heart with her act, and we just couldn't help but tell you this sensuous story. Therefore, sit down comfortably and get to know more about the life of Cristiano Ronaldo's family. Their fate is not always cloudless, and today's video will prove it to you once again. Alright, here are the topics we are gonna dwell on. Georgina Rodriguez's touching act, the reasons for visiting the holy place of Fatima, and the criticism that fell on Ronaldo's chosen one after this trip. With all that said, we proceed to start. So, what did Georgina Rodriguez do, and why did it move the whole world? Let us tell you the story's premise. So. Georgina Rodriguez gets her first tattoo, and it has a touching meaning. She gets a tattoo in honor of her deceased baby. Georgina still has the baby who died during her pregnancy in her mind and has made public gestures in memory of him. For example, by making the symbol of an angel. Ronaldo's girlfriend got it while on holiday with her friends in Madrid. The angels on Georgina's arm were put on by renowned tattooist Bernie. She herself has published on social networks how she got it done. You will be even more impressed by the circumstances of such a decision made by Ronaldo's fiancé. It comes days after Georgina made a surprise visit to the holy site of Fatima in Portugal. She joined pilgrims and other religious worshippers with her weekend visit to the spot where the Virgin Mary is said to have appeared to three children more than 100 years ago. Georgina took time out at the Fatima sanctuary to ask for spiritual guidance, writing in a post alongside a series of photos she uploaded to Instagram. Carry on guiding and illuminating my path, little virgin, followed by a heart and angel emoticon. A video footage taken at the scene showed she was not alone. Arriving at the shrine with her trusted twin bodyguards, Sergio and Jorge Ramaliero, and a TV crew. Unconfirmed local reports said the images were recorded for follow-up series to her six-part Netflix show, I Am Georgina, which aired in January and charted her wrecks to riches life from 10 pounds an hour shop worker to Ronaldo's rock. However, things didn't go as smoothly as they were expected to be. Haters attacked Georgina because of her image. Now we're to explain what's the matter in a second. Georgina Rodriguez chose white colors for her visit to Fatima, which symbolizes purity and spirituality. Then she covered her head with a silk headscarf as a sign of respect and devotion. There is an eye-catching detail. It was an accessory from Chanel, adorned with iconic camellias and an intertwined double C. Wanna know its price? Since this comes from an old collection, it can only be found on vintage fashion sites for around 380 euros. The design nuances of Georgina Rodriguez's all-white outfit didn't end there. Cristiano Ronaldo's partner completed her look with a classic Chanel quilted shoulder bag medium double flap made of white lambskin with silver chain, priced at 11,782 euros. Haters also drew attention to the iconic Hermes orange sandals that Georgina was wearing. It was a model which is worth 510 euros on the Mason's official website. Thus, the girl's stylish look costs almost 13,000 euros in total which was considered inappropriate by several haters who identified the church as a place of worship, not showing off. Georgina decided not to respond to Instagram disputes, proving that she wants to live her spirituality away from any criticism or insults. It's not the first time Georgina has displayed her religious faith. In the first series of I Am Georgina, she visited the cathedral in her native city of Jaca in northern Spain to pray. She wrote alongside a photo she posted on Instagram at the time in front of Jesus on the cross. So many prayers at your feet, so many wishes and tears. Today, finally I'm reunited with you. Thank you for having illuminated my path and for having accompanied me always.
And how's the newborn Bella Esmeralda doing now? Georgina shared the following in a recent post on Instagram. Bella Esmeralda, my little great blessing. Here's how she showed the charming little girl to the world. Ronaldo's chosen one also showed how she spends wonderful time with her children and Bella Esmeralda. Therefore, as we can see, Georgina succeeds at finding strength to live on and love this world as it is, despite the heavy loss. A tattoo with two winged angels will forever engrave her endless love for the boy. Friends, love life and appreciate it. It was Inside Football. We watch football from a different angle. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.